family member for the return of their belongings. Defendants Latasha Polopolucius and Kalani Opolucius say the plaintiffs never came to get their stuff. Now it's Joe time. The couple Perkins and Thomas claim that they're entitled to compensation for a failure to return personal property, including clothes, shoes, PlayStation, TV, laptop, and important documents. Aren't you related to one of the Mr. and Mrs. over here? First cousin to, I believe, Mr.? Yeah, I'm related to Kalani. All right. Why do you think you're entitled to compensation? I, I think you say you moved in February 27th of this year. That's uh, you were yeah. between places, is that right? That's right. I was living in the uh, transitional home before I moved with them. Yes, and you say you couldn't move in with your girlfriend because her religious parents wouldn't allow it, right? Yes, sir. They call it, uh, I guess, shacking. So. Well, you know, it's one thing when you pay for it, you pay for the roof, but right. when it's under your parents' roof, uh-uh. Well, Rule of the with, house. Well, I moved with them like on the 27th of February. Why did you have That's to leave your, par your father's home or your parents' home? What was that about? And we got in a confrontation, so he um, kicked me out. Kicked you out. You're 30 yeah. years old. Yes, sir. Okay. And then when I moved with them, like a few days passed, she asked for rent money early. I'm looking at her like, why you asked for rent money already? An agreement is 200. And he was just like, man, just do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? All right. So I gave her the agreement. Verbal agreement was 200 a month. That's all I can afford. And I'm then, your penny, Your Honor. That's and then, and then um, I gave it to well, her. Well, I mean, does she she interrupted, but I mean, they do say you never made a payment of even the 200 dollars. I gave him a payment, sir. How much? Two hundred. That's a lot. When? On the on the twenty ninth. Twenty ninth. Of what? Of February. I mean, of on uh, February. When'd you move in? Like February twenty seventh. That's a lot. So I got the. Uh, so in other words, they I let you come in without food. first and last month's rent. Huh? No deposit. No rent up no, front. They want. I gave him the rent up front. I gave him two hundred. That's two days after you moved in. If you moved in on the 27th and you say you paid it on the 29th, you moved in on do you the have a receipt? No, I don't. You have receipts and quotes for the for personal property you say you lost. How about for the rent? Receipts. They have everything I own. Everything. They, okay. they have me with nothing. Now, how long did you stay in there? Only like a month and a few days. You say you two got kicked out of the house after Easter brunch. Easter brunch, oh <laughs> yeah. Well, we Why can't was that? It was all oh, some stupid clippers. Cause I used to, cause I used their clippers, and she got a little angry. Uh, yeah, you would say you wanted something to do a home haircut on yourself. So well, actually, apparently, he, actually, as you put it, she hair. used you used. Uh, you thought you would help yourself to this? Why would she object? I didn't help myself to their stuff. He gave me the clippers, and he cut and he cut my hair first. He was taking too long, so I cut it myself, and I cleaned them. And then when she came home from church, she just started, just went off cussing, talking all that crip and cuss and all that crap. Come Wait, in my he's face. cutting your hair. He's taking too long, so you take over the shears and start shearing yourself? I start cutting myself, <laughs> yeah. I start cutting my own hair. And when she came in, she got mad and started just cussing and talking all that crip and cuss and all that stuff, and I don't game bang at all. Well, so you acting like one? So I'll tell her to calm down. You know, she talk coming at me with all that crip and game banging stuff. So she tried to fight me, and he restrained her. That's you know what I'm true. saying? And um, as she leaving, she was asking for 200 again. I'm like, why am I getting 200 for? It ain't been a month. Well, yet. you been that two months. Wait, excuse me. Three. Going on four. April, February, yeah, yeah. it's coming up. Money, you know. But she asking for it early. So I'm like, why would I get to you early for? Now, uh, were you employed or unemployed? I was employed. Look, look, <laughs> like I said, I moved in there on the 27th, <laughs> and they're kicking me out over some clippers. And while I'm on the way back they home... They had non-payment of rent. They say you haven't paid that? anything. I didn't pay them rent. Um, excuse me, Judge Joe Brown. Yes, I have, miss I have who she... couldn't bring him by your parents' house because they didn't approve of you shacking no under their roof, especially since you're 35 years old and he's 30, so why should they pay the tab 
for you two having fun. By the way, uh, that was kind of conditional, wasn't it, since don't you two live there now? He didn't have anywhere else to go, so my Well, then parents... why are you bothered with him? Why are I bothered with him? Yeah. You're not married to him, are you? No. Well, what you dealing with a man just broke, busted, can't take a bath, how, how and looks like he's been hitting a, a few, shall we say, what chemicals? What are you talking about? I do take a bath. I take a bath every day. I took about any house. They just lying. To and me. you're pregnant too. Yes, I'm pregnant. By him, no gig, working as a dishwasher part time, and doesn't have a place for you to stay with him, raise a family, and uh, let's see, you got ten year old daughter, you've got a sixteen year old son, nine year old daughter, now you got one on the way. They kicked me out. And I tried to go back and get my, and they kicked me out. I told them I'm gonna go get the police. Cause she told me to go get the police to get my stuff. I said, okay, cool. I go, I text her, and I have proof of the texting, of me texting her to go get my stuff. And on the way back with the police, she lied to the police and said she kicked me out two months ago, which was a lie. We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. He's shaving, and I'm looking a little bit closer. My name is Mark Clipper. I'm like, ugh, you look very really nasty. <laughs> and I, I tell him, I say, you know what? I use that for my personal. And then I, I look on the sink, Your Honor, and my toothbrush is right there. It's go time after this. Man up. I'm trying to tell you to man up. Man up. Today on Judge Joe Brown. We're back with Judge Joe Brown. The plaintiff in this case says he moved in with some family members. Says he paid the $200 agreed upon rent, and they kicked him out anyway. Let's see what the judge thinks. When did you go back with the police? Easter, mm -hmm. the day before my auntie's funeral, that, that I couldn't make because he kept all my clothes. All I had was my regular clothes on. I went back with my stuff, sir. They tried to get my stuff. They wouldn't let me get my stuff. They lied to the police and said that I got kicked out two months ago, and I didn't. I got, they kicked me out like an hour, hour and a half ago. And it's in the police report. It's in the police report. I read it. But that's why you can't always accept the police report as evidence. Why not? They just record what they put down. They've got, but on the extended version, they've got a contradictory statement of facts. I have the text messages in my cell phone. So what do they she, say? They, I, that she wouldn't give him his stuff back. I what did on the she police. want it? I, put up, I don't get it. I don't she know. She said it smelled up everything. That's, not, that's a lie. So they didn't enjoy it being around then. the house. Why she give it back then? Why if it's so smelly, why she give it back? Mm -hmm. If it's so smelly. Well, okay, let's go to them. They have an explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Your Honor, thank you. Because when Anthony came to me, he asked me. That's a lie. He, I asked wait a minute. Ask what? He asked, you might have said, could I use the bathroom? <laughs> you know, not, could I stand on the front? The, could I come in? The, the, <laughs> That's a lie, you know? Because that's all he do, Your Honor, is lie. That's not true. So even know he's only for a month. But why would I let you I, into my house with my three kids, Your Honor? He, if he didn't ask me, how did he get up in my house? Because you let him. That's one. Oh, you supposed to have given him an engraved invitation, you know? RSVP. We know you're having a hard time. Everybody's throwing you out. Exactly. Your you lady friend's out. parents so don't want you up in there. Uh, so come on over. We feel the need to do charity. Exactly. No. That's what your you honor, did. You let me stay. Your Honor, yes, yes, I did. She asked him to let me stay. He said, of course. Okay, it's your turn to be quiet. Okay? Thank you, Miss Sonia. That's so efficient. Don't interrupt. So, Your Honor, I felt bad for the boy because I talked to the whole, fa my, all my in-laws. All my in-laws have tried with him. That's a lie. I've been in the That's situation. Okay, how many haven't tried? Having a family member for the return of their belongings. Defendants Latasha Kolopolucius and Kalani Opolucius say the plaintiffs never came to get their stuff. Now it's Joe time. The couple Perkins and Thomas claim that they're entitled to compensation for a failure to return personal property, including... Clothes, shoes, PlayStation, TV, laptop, and important documents. Aren't you related to one of the Mr. and Mrs. over here? First cousin to, I believe, Mr.? Yeah, I'm related to Kalani. All right. Why do you think you're entitled to compensation? I, I think you say you moved in 
February 27th of this year, uh, correct, you were yeah. between places, is that right? That's right. I was living in the um, transitional home before I moved with them. Yes, and you say you couldn't move in with your girlfriend because her religious parents wouldn't allow it, right? Yes, sir. They call it, uh, I guess, shacking. So. Well, you know, it's one thing when you pay for it, you pay for the roof, but right. when it's under your parents' roof, uh-uh. Well, Rule of the with, house. Well, I moved with them like on the 27th of February. Why did you That's have to correct. leave your par your father's home or your parents' home? What was that about? And we got in a confrontation, so he um, kicked me out. Kicked you out. You're 30 years old. Yes, sir. Okay. And then when I moved with them, like a few days passed, she was asking for rent money early. And I'm looking at her like, why you asking for rent money already in agreement of 200 and he was just like, man, just do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what, all right. So I gave her, the agreement, verbal agreement was 200 a month. That's all I can afford. And then, never gave me a penny, Your Honor. And then, and then um, I gave it to her. Well, I mean, she, she interrupted, but I mean, they do say you never made a payment of even the $200. I gave him a payment, sir. How much? 200 That's a lot. When? On the, on the 29th. Of what? Of February, I mean, of, uh, on February. When did you move in? Like February 27th. That's a lot. So I got the... Um, so in other words, they let you come in without approval. first and last month's rent? Huh? No deposit? No rent up no, front? They want, I gave them the rent up front. I gave them 200 That's two days after you moved in. If you moved in on the 27th and you say you paid it on the 29th, do the you have a receipt? No, I don't. You have receipts and quotes for the... For personal property, you say you lost. How about for the rent? See, they have everything I own. Everything. They, okay. they have me with nothing. Now, how long did you stay in there? Only like a month and a few days. You say you two got kicked out of the house after Easter brunch. Easter brunch? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we Why can't... was that? It was over oh, some stupid clippers. Because I used to, I used their clippers, and she got a little angry. Uh, yeah, you would me say you wanted something to do a home haircut on yourself. So well, apparently, actually, he, as actually, you put it, she used, you used, uh, you thought you would help yourself to this. Why would she I object? I didn't help myself to their stuff. He gave me the clippers, and he cut, and he cut my hair first. He was taking too long, so I cut it myself, and I cleaned them. And then when she came home from church, she just started... Just went off cussing, talking all that crip and cuss and all that crap. Come Wait, he's my cutting face. your hair. He's taking too long, so you.